Good day everyone. If it is your first time on my channel, please watch these videos in order, starting with the first ones, else it may not make sense. It will also help if you subscribe, like and share them as much as possible. Today we continue looking at evidence of dinosaurs that might still be alive, as there is lots of it. A listing for the word sea dragon was found in a dictionary of 1766. We think it is in 1766 because the cover pages was torn off. It lists sea dragon as a marine monster caught in England in 1749, resembling, in some degree, an alligator, but having two large fins which served for swimming or flying. It had two legs terminating in hoofs, like those of an ass. Its body was covered with impenetrable scales, and it had five rows of teeth. In 1934, this thing washed up on the beach in Normandy, France. Professors came and looked at it and said it is not a whale. It is not a sea cow. It is possible that we are in the presence of an unknown species. Two scientists were on board a ship near Brazil when this thing swam past their boat. They observed it from the yacht and said it had a dorsal fin about six feet long and two feet high. Then a small head on a neck about seven or eight feet long rose in front of the fin. The creature's color was mainly dark brown, turning white on the underside of the neck. And a good sized body could be seen under the water. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle said this, I saw swimming parallel to the ship underwater a curious creature around four feet long with a long neck and large flippers. I believe, as did my wife, who also saw it, that it was a young plesiosaurus. A Queensland correspondent wrote me that a young plesiosaurus was taken in a net off Mudgy Beach, Australia. He sent me a sketch which is like the one I saw myself off the coast of Greece. A Japanese fishing boat near the coast of New Zealand found this 32 foot long creature weighing 4,000 pounds. It was hauled up from 900 feet down in 1977. It was dead, rotting and smelled terrible. After examining the creature, it was thrown back. The people on board took a lot of pictures and samples of this creature and threw it back in the ocean as it stunk really badly. A marine biologist that was on board, Michihiko Yanu, drew this sketch of the creature. Some claim it was a basking shark, and it could be, we simply don't know. The people that had first-hand account of this animal says it is a plesiosaurus. Because the protein samples were 96% similar to shark protein, does not necessarily make it a basking shark. Firstly, humans and apes have very similar protein, yet are very different. Secondly, who has seen plesiosaur protein to know what it should look like? And thirdly, the fishermen and the marine biologist who had it knew what basking sharks were and did not think it was one. Some Russian scientists claim to have seen a dinosaur in a lake somewhere in Russia. In 1994, a dinosaur-looking creature washed up on a beach on the north coast of Russia. There has been reports of a dinosaur-like creature in a lake on the north island of Japan. There's also reports of one on the south island of Japan. They call it Ishi. In China, there has also been reports of a creature similar to a dinosaur. They call it a USO, unidentified swimming object. <laughs> there are several lakes in Norway and Sweden reporting creatures like this as well, as from their ancient artwork. Canada has many similar stories of lake monsters reported. 
This snippet from the New York Times calls it Nessie's Canadian cousin found near the town of Kelowna, British Columbia, north of Washington. There is an 80 mile long lake there. The natives call it the Ogopogo. The Indians there warned the white settlers back in the day and said that the Ogopogo will tip your canoe over and kill you. This article tells of a sighting of the Ogopogo. You can pause the video and read it if you like. They say it's the latest of thousands of sightings. Another article tells of a swimmer that was swimming in the lake when the creature came up from under him. He said that no one ever saw a sturgeon in this lake, so this was not a giant sturgeon. This article from the local newspaper reports that people saw the creature on sonar scans. There are reported sightings of this creature along the Pacific coast, upward from British Columbia. They call it the caddy. Some scientists spend years studying the Cadborosaurus and have written books about it. Professor Leblond said that it is probably a new species to science. They found a baby one inside the stomach of a whale. One guy was out there on a sailboat and caught a little baby one, about 18 inches long. He scooped it up into his boat and made a sketch of it as he did not have a camera. Dr. Hovind interviewed Keith Ross on 12 October of 1992. He claims that a creature chased their boat off the coast of Cape Sable Island, Nova Scotia in Canada. He said a 40 to 50 feet long creature chased their boat for 1 to 2 miles with its head out of the water about 15 feet. It had a wide mouth and 4 foot tusks, like a walrus, as well as other pointed sharp teeth about the size of his finger. What he saw had a 2 foot thick 8 to 9 foot long neck. 9 inch diameter eyes with yellow or red circles around them and set at an angle from the front not on the side like a fish. He could see no visible means of propulsion as it swam toward them. It was grayish brown, covered in barnacles, rough textured and did not appear to have scales. They were 6 miles south of Cape Sable Island, Nova Scotia. The water was 180 feet deep and flat calm. This washed up on a beach of Newfoundland, Canada, and no one could identify it. Another one washed up in Parker's Cove, Canada. People from all over came and cut off pieces of it. Apparently, it stank very badly. People again said it is a basking shark, which it may or may not have been. Jacques Boivet has been collecting information of sightings of the Lake Memphremagog monster. Lake Memphremagog is between New York and Vermont. He has files upon files of sightings of people claiming to have seen Memphrey. In 1992 alone, there were eight sightings involving 26 people. There has been reports of a Loch Ness monster-like creature in the Potomac River. This lady says her husband shot one of the smaller creatures in the neck. It rose out of the water and disappeared. In 1800, there were lots of sightings of a sea monster in Boston. They said it looks like a giant sea snake. There is an island just off the coast of Rhode Island called Block Island. 
1996, a creature was caught there 14 feet long. All we have is this picture as someone stole the bones. Lots of people claim to have seen a creature in Lake Erie. Erie's Bessie matches Nessie, this article says. They describe it as black, about 35 feet long and with a snake-like head. The creature has since been reported by five people on three separate occasions. There are a lot of information and material on the Lake Erie monster. John Kraft saw the creature with its head sticking out of the water, but by the time he had this, his camera out and took the picture, the creature's head was back in the water. Pete Peterson, who owns Allen D. Bait Shop in Lakewood, Ohio, said he was walking on the beach off Lake Erie and found a dead baby creature. It was three feet long, had four flippers, a small head and a long neck. He brought it back and mounted it, since he's a taxidermist. So we see lots and lots of evidence for dinosaurs possibly still alive today. This is all we have time for. We will continue on this subject next time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and share this video as much as possible to help me grow my channel. Don't forget to leave a donation on Patreon. Instructions on how to do so will follow. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. You can help us create better videos by leaving a donation on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you. We hope to see you next time.